Some of you may call me cheap, some of you may call me thrifty. But being a small business owner, I'm always looking to do a couple of things. One of them is to save time in labor by streamlining processes. The other thing that I look to do is save cost on material. So when I find a cool tool accessory that helps me to do it, it catches my eye and I bring it to you, like this one here. It's a tool accessory from the wall. It saves you time, it saves you money. We have a video about it right over here. But it does have a couple of flaws that the wall might have solved in Gen 2. That's gonna make you faster, better, it's gonna save you money. Two by fours cost like $10,000 now. So you don't need any mistakes happening and we're gonna help that to not happen right after this message from our sponsor, VCG Construction. If you want to help out with the channel, head on over to the merch store, get hats, hoodies, t-shirts, the merch is lit. Link is in the description. All right, so here it is. In case you were unaware, you've not seen this before. This is from the MaxFit line of bits. What this do little doodad did was it magnetized these longer two inch bits so that your fasteners would stay put as you're reaching out and going to drive the fasteners. It saves you time, saves you money. The other thing is, is that it turns a two-handed process into a one-handed process in a lot of instances. Here's the deal though. A lot of you were like, yo, isn't that a drywall dimpler? Isn't that a depth gauge so you can't overdrive those fasteners? And the answer was, it's not, watch. What happens is, you can overdrive that fastener. And in a lot of instances, what it does is it pushes back this magnetic guide and then it messes it all up, frankly. Now that we've overdriven that fastener, you can see that magnet, it, it's still holding, but it's not contacting the screw anymore. We have to push back up to release it because we're not using it for its intended purpose. So when we were walking through the big orange box, something caught my eye from the wall. And I, I gotta tell you, love the wall, hate the wall. You cannot deny that when it comes to tool accessories and driver and drill bait accessories, they're tough to beat. This is the Waltz deck bit. It's product number DWA2H2DBN. F5. It's for use with decking fasteners. Now here's the thing. I know what a lot of you are going to say. It's a number two drive. Like, oh, my decking fasteners are not number two. Here's the thing. It's on the max fit line of bits. I gotta tell you, like I, I didn't find, I couldn't, I couldn't find too much. I'm hoping that you can also find number three and square and posi drive. Leave it down below if you're using these and you've already have those other fasteners. Here's the thing, I saw this, grabbed it, wanted to get it in, I wanted to unbox it, take a look at it with you because a lot of times these accessories can make you faster through being able to eliminate error in repetitious movements. In re think about how many decking screws you will set while constructing a deck. Now, you drive too deep, you're gonna maybe have a mushroom deck board, okay? Or a fastener that's not going to hold your deck board. And quite frankly, pressure treated in cedar, really expensive. Number two, you have a decking fastener or screw that's not set deep enough. You could have somebody rip open their foot. This is a five piece kit. It's good for use with a drill or impact driver. It's for deck screws says power bits and sleeve. So you're getting the power bits and it looks as though you're getting two sleeves. I wanna see how well it, it works at stopping from overdriving, okay, number one. Number two, I wanna see if it will actually fit with our other max fit bits as well. The other point that I wanted to make was, not only are you streamlining repetitious movements and applications, you're also eliminating the possibility 
of ruining building materials by improperly setting the depth of fasteners. What we're gonna do is we're gonna remove this plastic bit. We're gonna put this power bit on. Now, here's the deal. I gotta take off my glove. I wanna feel it with my hand. This power bit is, seems to be constructed from metal. It does have, and you can see it here, it does have a very similar magnetic ring around the face. I also can tell you the difference between this bit and other bits possibly is this quarter inch hex behind this magnetic ring. You can see it's stopping that ring, so you're not going to overdrive, possibly, your fastener. But let's test it out. It pops in nice. Now, if you see here, these couple fasteners, these are Phillips number two, these are well overdriven. We drove those with the plastic magnetic guide. Let's see if this makes a difference. I wanna check the magnetism. You know I love me some magnetism. Wow, I don't know if you can see that or not, but look how well that engaged the fastener. You seeing that? Let's drive a couple screws. Wow, that is a beautiful. And you can see, we're driving it all the way home. Like, I'm not pulling off here. Look at the difference. I mean, that's perfectly set. You're still gonna have to use the old trigger finger to control the depth somewhat, but, it's definitely doing a much better job of controlling the depth of those screws. Look at the difference here and here, even here and here. Big difference, big difference. Let's see if this will come off. I mean, it's gotta come off so that we can use it with the other power bits. Oh, it does pop off. So it pops off. We're able to use it to the other power bits. Can we use it with other max fit bits? And that looks like a no. So you're gonna have to get specific power bits. DeWalt, are you going to be offering power bits, these deck bits, in those other fashion or styles. We wanna know, or maybe you already do, and I'm just unaware of them. Leave it down below, everybody. Help out the very cool gang. Also, how many places can you use something like this other than just decking? Think about all the places that this can help speed you up, make you more productive, reduce waste, and that means you putting more money in your pocket, more food on your table. Video's over, but I know you want more. So this is how you're gonna get it. First thing you need to do is pretend you're this guy and you're here at the birthplace of freedom. Now ring that bell like it's 1776 and let all notifications through. What? You're not subscribed yet? Smash this button here. Watch this video here, here, and maybe over here. See you later.